Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do NVIDIA Surround uh, with three completely different um, monitors here. Uh, I didn't buy and purchase the same one, I actually had this one, which was my first one, came with my Dell computer. And it's just a standard Dell monitor. Then I purchased this one from a liquidation sale. That's just another uh, Dell monitor, but this one is a little bit wider, I believe is a little bit newer. Um, and then right over here, I picked this one right up over here at Target on clearance. This is a standard uh, television uh, LCD, you know, 19 inch. And basically what I'll be showing you is how to um, activate NVIDIA Surround with three completely different monitors. Because if you ever used NVIDIA Surround before, um, they require that all the televisions are exactly the same. And I'll be showing you how to kind of get around this kind of fact. Um, before I go into showing you all the settings and how to hook them up right now, I'm going to be showing you my setup. And uh, hopefully you have something a lot, uh, along the same lines. I'm running two graphics cards. Uh, they're both 570s, um, GTXs. Uh, one is an Asus and one is a, um, I think it's an Edge or something. Oh no, Gigabyte. Gigabyte graphics card. Uh, I have an SLI, and um, that's the only way you can really do that with that type of great card because you need something on the higher end in order to run something like this. And also, your frame rate will drop. And I'll kind of go back down here and kind of give you a, a visual of how it's hooked up. Um, this is my HD television right over here, the one I got on clearance from Target. And you have your other one over here, which is, um, I believe is my uh, secondary monitor I picked up on the liquidation. Then I have my main monitor that's plugged into my newer graphics card on the bottom. And then they're just SLI'd between the two of them. Now, you guys are probably thinking, oh, why has he got a Dell? Not, it is a Dell, it is an XPS, but I did change out everything. The only thing that is still Dell and this computer is actually just the case because I like it because it's big and it's metal and it works for me alright so I'm gonna go further into um, how to actually set this up and I'll see you in just a second alright so we're back um, now in this part of the video we're going to uh, actually start setting up the monitors now, in order for it to run, like I said before, NVIDIA does require that televisions do meet the same frequency, the same resolution, and um, those are both two only objectives that they really want to be done. And in this case, I definitely don't have to, uh, the same resolution. I got a 720p over here. I think this one's 1080p, and the one in front of me is somewhere in between. Um, then I have completely different uh, refresh rates, especially on the LCD. So basically, you're trying to trick your computer into thinking that it has a television that it really doesn't. So, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go ahead onto your desktop. Um, and you're going to right click right here in the empty space. And then you're going to go scroll down and you're going to have NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on that and I'll bring that up. Now, mine's going to be inactive, so you're going to see a little bit different setup on yours, but the, the concept is identical. <laughs> And you would want to go right ahead, and in some cases, um, NVIDIA will change the refresh rates and stuff like that for you. So try and go ahead and use the um, SLI configuration, and you know, do surround sound and configure that button right there in the center. But in my case, it did not work for me because obviously mine were completely off. So I'm going to have you go ahead and right click again, and you're going to go down to your screen resolution. I popped up off a window, but um, as you can see, mine's already working. But if you go ahead and I go ahead and click on, let's say, the LCD screen, I don't know, it still says 372 by 780, uh, 768. So in this case, what you want to do, um, you'll see three different monitors on here, and each one will have their own resolution their own basically everything and you're gonna go through and it's different for everybody so I'm not gonna show you a, exactly but pick the display and then go through and click on your resolution uh, resolution and go through 
um, the resolutions that your monitor can actually output. And basically, you want to get the highest resolution that matches the same ratio, so they're not out of, you know, they're not funky and stretched, but um, they all have the same resolution. So you want to scroll down. So like, if you have, if like this screen over here is 720p. Now it can only put out 720p, but it does support up to 1080p. So I would go ahead and select a resolution that would give me the 1080p um, resolution over here. Now it might, be, might not be outputting that exact resolution, but it supports it. So therefore it's in ratio with the other two monitors. And that's what you want to do. And your computer will pop up with a yellow box saying that, oh, that's not the correct resolution for the television. You're not really looking for that. You just want to get it so that way all of them are at least getting the same frequency and the same resolution all at the same time. All right, and that's going to give you your best outcome. So is that you basically want to go with the highest resolution that all three monitors can take at the same resolution. You know, um, compare, you know, comparable. How can I say this? Uh, you know that they match. You know. Um, in the in the height and the width and the resolution. Okay, after you get that done, um, I am going to do the rest of it from the NVIDIA control panel. So I'll go ahead and scroll this over here, and you're going to go down to your displays, and then you're going to go into change resolution. And once again, mine is here, um, you know, because my screens are already hooked up and everything. But you'll go down to this here, and you'll have three different monitors. You'll have monitor one, monitor two, monitor three. And once again, it's just kind of picking out what the best resolution you can possibly push through the television that will accept in all three. Now, one television or one monitor, I should say, might be have a lower quality resolution than the rest, and it could output more but you want to make sure that the rest can output the same so um, in this case I believe I had like something like this can do like 1080p this one right here in front of me that I'm using the screen recorder on and the rest can um, can do lower than that but I had to kind of downgrade the lit resolution just a little bit on this one monitor so I went ahead and did that and um, made sure that it kind of went through because NVIDIA sometimes in its own programs requires you to do it through here I've had some luck back and forth um, especially with my two different computers I was working with doing this um, it, it kind of depends on the system if it has to be done inside this field or that field but I recommend doing this one first because it's a simpler one and it shows you all the resolutions supported um, NVIDIA will give you every single re resolution, even the ones it doesn't support, and you can have black screens and waiting the 30 seconds for it to come back around and reset. Okay, so after you get your resolutions, everything's kind of done inside NVIDIA for resolutions. You want to kind of look over here on the refresh rate. Uh, res refresh rate have to be the same too. So you have to make sure that they're refreshing all at 60 hertz or all at 120 hertz or whatever. Um, I recommend the 60 hertz because that just works better and your graphics card can output that very easily. Well, not very easily if it's not a good card, but it's a decent, you know, refresh rate. If you're doing something, you know, and trying, you have one 120 hertz monitor and you got two 60s, you got to go back down to 60. If you try and push 120, first of all, your uh, refresh rate is going to blow and your FPS is going to suck. Uh, but, uh, you're going to want to just kind of downgrade that because you are pushing through the signal through three televisions at the same time. It's not going to work the same as just one. And then finally is your color bit, highest 32 bit. I mean, mo uh, most of your monitors always be the same. Um, I've only had one run in, and I think it was actually with this in, um, television over here because it's running through HDMI. I had to push the, the color bit up, but I mean, it did nothing really that I could you know see, so it, it, that was fine. Um, but once you get everything, all three of them through here, you have identical everything. It registers through your NVIDIA control panel and it registers through your actual screen resolution. This is when you can actually proceed and go back up to your settings. And then your configuration. You can see minor SLI down here. Then I have two in the top card and then one inside the other one. And I was mistaken at 550s. I think I said uh, 570 my mistake um, 
So go ahead and uh, put that, uh, you know, put, put them in there, and then go ahead and hit the spans display, and then configure them. All right. So after you have all that done, you're gonna hit the configure tool, and then it'll take you from there. That's just like a simple set setup and install process. Only thing left um, that I would like to say before I uh, kind of let you go and figure this out for yourself is make sure that you have your cards SLI'd and that you can't just take two random cards and put them together. They have to be the same card and they have to be connected to be SLI. Um, second thing is is that uh, if you're trying to do this with one single card, make sure it does support NVIDIA Surround. Not all cards support this. I mean, I have a uh, both these cards, 550s, um, you can't just stick three monitors inside there. Even though they have three ports, does not mean they support three displays. It just means that they have three different ports that you can put a television in. So, um, you know, most likely, if you try doing this, you'll just get two screens to pop up. The third one will go black. Get the third one to pop up. The middle one will go black. It, you know, kind of kicks out the lowest one. But besides that, if you have an SLI or a high enough graphics card. Three decently alright computer monitor screens. I mean, and we're going to win and recommend getting a tube television, putting it next to it, and then put another one over there. Your, the ratio would be all messed up and will not work. Uh, one other thing, too, is that um, you do have to kind of figure out um, how your uh, graphics cards work. Um, I did forget to mention that uh, in moving this computer from one area to another location I did move the connections around on the console and I don't know why this happens and it probably won't happen in your case but um, in my case um, I had uh, the Dell uh, the Dells both plugged into uh, the G uh, this one right over here with the two D DVI ports and then the LCD screen was plugged into the GeForce um, I believe that's the ASUS card and for some apparent reason, I don't know why, but the computer wasn't registering it correctly and it would not let me proceed into the um, configuration. Now when I flopped them around to put the Dell with the GeForce and then flip flopped the other one over here, um, it turned out fine and had no problems whatsoever. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it was maybe because I had moved the display port, um, or the, 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 the default display port which is the, the monitor that is directly in front of you and I flip flopped the ones inside or, or so on or maybe I, I put the wrong monitor in the wrong um, maybe there's a sequential order of uh, the graphics cards that it likes I don't know honestly but um, if it does not work out for some apparent reason try flip flopping the connections around and matching up in different ports and you might have better luck um, I remember to like comment and subscribe.